But we're going to start you up in the Cascades because this is a really cool time lapse. Alto Stratus Standing Lenticular, also known as Mountain Wave Clouds. And look at this cloud. There are strong winds up here and it's got some good color there too, but it's constantly forming here. Then it dissipates downstream. The mountains are lifting the air and there was a little segment of jet stream that called the jet streak that was cruising over the area that aided. See them? See them right there? The development of these clouds. There they go. Better example right there. So they form, they dissipate downstream. Looks like thunderstorms. Not. They're just high level clouds forming because of the jet stream crossing the area and then the air getting lifted by the mountains. So kind of cool. You can also see that marine layer out along the Oregon coast, which is doing us the massive favor of cooling us off even more than it did from yesterday to today. And that was a good drop down to 86 for the high today. Still on the warm side, be cooler tomorrow. Triple digits over in Hermiston and 105 in Ontario. But the west side cooled off. Even Medford stayed below 100 and Eugene 95 yesterday, just 84 today. And the folks visiting for the uh, World Athletics Championships get treated to a really great day tomorrow as we will. Now you can see that jet streak with those high clouds beginning to dissipate. There's just a weak system kind of moving on through the area right now, but high pressure. We're all about it as we go into next week, and that is going to be the thing that warms us up tomorrow, though, nice and cool. In fact, even cloudy in the morning. If that helps you sleep in, then tomorrow's your day and the clouds will take their time burning off. I think they will burn off, but because they burn off late in the day, we don't even make 80 tomorrow. We're talking mid to upper 70s, perhaps some patchy morning clouds on Saturday. After that, it's clear sailing right on through next week and tomorrow. Definitely the coolest day of the next seven, maybe 10 days. As a matter of fact, see, we're still cloudy as we go to the noontime hour. Then the clouds break up about one o'clock and by four o'clock, we're still only in the mid 70s. So again, a nice cool down on the way. So we have just this little deflection in the jet stream here. Westerly winds to keep us cool Friday and Saturday. We make the 80 Saturday, but like 82, 83, so not hot. Then it warms up on Sunday and it really comes on strong. The heat Monday and beyond. So it's going to be hot for several days. This is the pattern on Wednesday. OK, this is a big hot air mass kind of developing high pressure to the west and then high pressure moving our way from the desert southwest combining for what will end up being a pretty stagnant and hot air mass sticks around until about maybe Friday of next week. If we're lucky, we'll initiate that onshore flow of cool ocean air and break the heat wave, but it may not happen Friday. It could be on Saturday or Sunday. We'll have to wait and see as we get closer, but eventually it will break. But the bottom line is this is going to be hot all of next week in the 90s. I think for a good solid five days, hundreds are likely for a couple of days. I think right now the best bet is only about 100 maybe 101, not the you know 105, 110, but still hot. And then the other thing to consider is that overnight temperatures as we go deeper into the week will become uncomfortable as we may not drop below 70 for a couple of nights. That's warm for Portland. So if you don't have AC or a good way to cool off your home, just be ready. It's there's going to be some uncomfortable nights next week, but not tonight. 66 right now and Many places will drop into the 50s by morning. Certainly the coast will be nice and cool and highs there only in the 60s tomorrow. Even some morning drizzle at the coast, maybe in the Cascades or the foothills of the coast range too. Look at the high of 81 in Salem. Eugene will be about the same. Sunshine in the Cascades, central and eastern Oregon, sunny and breezy and still pretty warm, but cooling off a bit. And in the gorge, west winds cranked up to 35 miles an hour for the east side of the gorge tomorrow as we have the cooler air here on the west side. Morning clouds cooler, afternoon sun, high of 78 for your Friday, 82 on Saturday. Begins to warm up on Sunday, but not too bad. And then Monday, we're in the mid 90s. I think we hit 100 for a couple of days and still in the upper 90s on Thursday and probably Friday, David. So